In this tutorial, we will use YOLO 3D with ROS2. As we can see, YOLO 3D is not just drawing two-dimensional bounding boxes around detected objects, but it is drawing three-dimensional bounding boxes, taking object orientation into account. Since 3D bounding box estimation is still under development, sometimes generated bounding boxes are not accurate. But in the future, it will be one of the most important functions in robotics. This tutorial is based on this GitHub repository. Thanks to the author for sharing this great work. Here we can find explanation of how to download a pre-trained model and how to run the scripts. Detailed theoretical explanation of this repository can be found in this paper. Let's see several key points of 3D bounding box estimation. Firstly, we will talk about network architecture. To estimate object orientation, multi-bin architecture is proposed. The orientation angle is divided into n overlapping bins. For each bin, CNN network estimates both a confidence probability and orientation. This is an idea similar to anchor boxes that have been used in algorithms such as FASTER or CNN and SSD. This is network structure. The network consists of a common part and individual three branches. Two branches are used for orientation estimation. They compute the confidence, cosine and sine of delta theta of each bin. One branch is used for dimension estimation. Here is the program flow. In the first step, the first network outputs estimations of the 3D object orientation. Here, a novel A hybrid discrete continuous loss is used. It better suits this problem than L2 loss. L2 loss encourages the network to minimize to average loss across all modes, which results in an estimate that may be poor for any single mode. In the second step, the network regresses the 3D object dimensions. The variance of the dimension estimate is typically smaller and does not vary as the object orientation changes. In the third step, results obtained in the previous steps are combined with geometric constraints obtained from the 2D bounding box. This operation uses the fact that the perspective projection of a 3D bounding box should fit tightly within its 2D detection window. Finally, the pose with maximum confidence is selected. Before doing simulation, we have to install several required packages. Firstly, install the ROS2 control package. The ROS2 control is a framework for control of robots using ROS2. Then, install the ROS2 controllers package. This package contains widely used controllers, such as forward command controller, joint trajectory controller and differential drive controller. Other required packages will be installed automatically along with these two packages. Install Gazebo In further steps we will need to move Gazebo models to the Gazebo folder. But right after Gazebo installation, Gazebo folder does not yet exist. To generate this folder, open the home directory. From the menu on the upper right side of the window, check Show Hidden Files. Now, open a terminal and execute the gazebo command. As soon as you execute the gazebo command, gazebo folder will be generated in the home directory. Next, Install Gazebo ROS Packages Gazebo ROS Packages is a set of ROS packages that provides the necessary interfaces to simulate a robot in Gazebo. It integrates with ROS using ROS messages, services and dynamic reconfigure. Install the Gazebo ROS2 control package. 
This package integrates ROS2 control controller architecture with the Gazebo simulator. Install the Python 3 Colkin common extensions. Colkin is a command line tool to improve the workflow of building, testing, and using multiple software packages. It automates the process, handles the ordering, and sets up the environment to use the packages. To do the simulation, download the zip file from the Google Drive and extract it to the home directory. Move all five models included in the models folder to the models folder inside the gazebo directory. If there is no models folder, create it. Before building this project, we have to make one change to the code. Move to the RS robot directory. Open the RS robot SDF file. Move to the very bottom of this file. Change this part of the code to your username and save the file. After this, move to the YOLO 3D ROS directory. Open a new terminal and execute the Colkin build command. Now let's see the code. Move to the scripts directory inside the YOLO 3D directory. Open the inference rospy script. The inference is done each time camera frame is received. Here, we load weights and setting files. Note that when we run this script for the first time, YOLO v5 weights will be downloaded to the home directory. In this section, based on the loaded setting files, a model for inference is built. In this line, RAW's image topic is converted to a NumPy array. In this part, two-dimensional inference is done. This is done by the usual YOLO v5 algorithm. This function returns bounding box coordinates and labels of detected objects in array format. Further calculations are done only if any objects have been detected in the previous step. In detected objects function images are processed to calculate three-dimensional bounding boxes. In this part, object orientation is predicted by the regressor. Finally, three-dimensional bounding boxes are drawn. Also, one thing to mention is that we have several folders inside the scripts directory. In this case, to execute the program properly using RAWs, we should do some modifications to the CMake file. Under the program statement, we write scripts we want to install. The scripts will be installed to the directory written here. So, we should make sure that all the required files to run the program are written here. Now we are ready to run the program. If you are not sure that you have all the required Python libraries, run the requirements text file using pip. To run the simulation, open a new terminal and execute the simulation launch pi script. After the gazebo world appears, open another terminal and execute the inference raws pi script. To move the robot, use joypad. 